better keep your jacket Quinkies. on. And we even went shop. Toads and berries. Yeah. So it goes Aww, from there. Hey. Like your shirt. Yeah. Just showed up in the middle. What in the world? Nice. Where'd you get it? Oh, I, love it. I, love it. I missed the sweater memo though. Yeah. Yeah. He's always got spice it up. Believe it or not, it wasn't actually that hard to keep a secret from our husbands because- We just do what we're told. <laughs> that, that's true. But also, we didn't tell any of our kids. And I was like, do not tell your kids. Because if we knew we told them, it was just from one kid to another, they'd accidentally right. tell their dad or something like that. So that's how we kept the secret pretty, pretty close. <laughs> Okay, so how the idea actually came about, do you even know how it came about? No. Okay, we were at a, um, a baby shower for a lady in our church, and all of us ladies were together, and we were like, wouldn't it be so funny if we got all of our husbands matching shirts for our Valentine's Day banquet? Because we figured that we would be like, oh, you need to match the family, it's a special occasion, so you need to wear this shirt to match everybody else. That's how it happened. What I hope people take away from the video is to show like how fun church can actually be. Um, when I posted, I got a lot of feedback of like, wow, this church seems like just a fun, close-knit family and friends. And we really are. <laughs>